you find that? Do you ever guys ever think about the idea of splitting the arc of the season into two arcs rather than one long arc that you have to stretch out for twenty three episodes? Yeah, it's funny. I mean, we've thought about doing it. Uh, you know, I think Shield did three yeah. arcs one season: first act, second act, third act. I think. Um, yeah, there's a format to our show that we follow, but um, I think this year, I don't want to tell you something that doesn't happen, but this yeah. year um, we're kind of looking at it as like a chapter one, chapter two, and um, and so I think you'll see some of that. I don't know if we're going to go as far as S.H.I.E.L.D. did, but yeah, I mean, it's it's it has its pros and cons story-wise. Um, I certainly understand people... You know, getting tired of a sort of one season long. It just stretches out. Yeah, right? it's, it's hard. And with 22, 23 episodes, it's difficult sometimes. But um, I think similar to season one, we had a lot of um, episodes that sort of broke up. You know, that, that long arc mythology. And we're, we're trying to do that this season as well. Cool. Talk about the expansion of the Flash family that we got to reveal at the end of the last season and how that's going to impact right away in the beginning of this upcoming season. Yeah, so we, we, we were doing a direct pickup. Um, you know, Nora just <laughs> explained that, you know, who she is, that she screwed up majorly, and I think it has a ripple effect. It's fun, It's funny, we're not doing Flashpoint, right? right. But, but we're doing something that affects her future, and now that Barry has screwed up a, one or two times with that, with a little time travel uh, uh Eagerness, I guess you'd call it. He's he's sort of the coach, and he's trying to get um, her back in, in, you know, like the timeline, sort of back to where it needs to be. And it does it causes a sort of ripple effect with everybody, but it's not it's not quite flashpoint. Oh yeah, there's a big bad. Um, we're gonna reveal who that big bad is at the panel, um, and you'll see a little bit of that person. So can't really go into all I can say is it's a non-speedster again and personally I love that um, very much like how last year at this time I was talking about the thinker and how that posed a different like a mental challenge for him this is going to be a physical challenge for Barry and the team that none of them had had dealt with uh, on the level like like this so it's gonna be a lot of fun and he's pretty dark speaking of uh, Big Bad so this past season the role of Michael was the most formidable that the team went up against Right. And lost against repeatedly. So, yeah. what would you say that Team Flash has learned in that process of going up against him? Well, I, I think last year this this sort of uh, theme became we are the Flash, right? They have to work as a team. And the thing about this season, which as a writer we all really are excited about, is uh, this meta human has the ability to make the team dynamic shift a little bit and how they go about him. It's not just Oh well, we're a team, and we can, you know, we're the the, the super friends. We can go up against him and, and take him down. It doesn't really matter how many people you put on the team, in a, in, in some some regards. Yeah. What can you use about uh, anything about the hundred? Um, so the thing that we're doing this season is episode eight. Historically, had been our crossover. That's going to be episode nine. So this season really works great for us because it's our hundredth. Um, Tom Cavanaugh is directing, which is, it felt really appropriate to have a cast member, and he's such an amazing director. Um, but I would just say it, it's going to have its typical sort of mid-season finale hanger at the end, um, and hopefully a twist that nobody sees coming. Who do you think Barry ended up, well, who would know, but Barry sort of as a character ended up at the end of the last season, and where he's kind of going this year as himself? Yeah, sure. I, you know... He, like I was saying before, he, he sort of took all the, he, you know, he would run into danger. It was always, I'm the Flash, it's the brunt. Like, I, he would carry that weight on his shoulders and then it spread out to the team. And now it's really this parental weird situation he finds himself in. He's a parent to an adult who's almost as old as him. Mm-hmm. And how he uh, interacts with them. And, and, and one theme that we're, we're, we're uh, sort of exploring this year is legacy. So it's really the season is becoming, you know, what is more important to Barry, being the Flash or being a parent? 